So in the last couple of videos, I've been working on getting this back transom area completed so I can get the back deck mounted down. For today's video, I need to get my bilge pump mounted. I'm gonna show you guys two quick and easy ways that you can get this installed without doing any drilling or needing any brackets whatsoever. It's important to remember how bilge pumps work to understand the reasons on how we're gonna be doing this today. Basically, when you have your bilge pump, you have the pump mechanism up top. If it's a float switch controlled pump, on the bottom, you have your actual pump and then you have your float switch. If it's not controlled by a float switch, then it'll just be your pump. Once your bilge pump's installed, you wanna make sure you have access to take the pump mechanism off. That way, in case anything gets caught in your pump, you're able to clean it out. The guard or the grate on the bottom, this does not need to leave your boat. So essentially, you're just trying to mount this somewhere that's gonna have access to the water if it pulls up in your transom, and easy access to get your bilge pump out. Now, most of these will come with mounting points if you have an area in your transom where you can just screw straight down. But for most people doing these type of boats, you're gonna have just the bottom of the boat and you're not gonna be putting holes through your floor just to mount the bilge pump. So in the past, I've mounted bilge pumps in two different ways. The first way is using waterproof silicone. Put a couple dabs of silicone on the bottom of your tray, press it down. Once that cures, your pump attaches and you're good to go. The other option is using high strength Velcro. Velcro is really awesome because if you've got the correct kinds, everything about this is waterproof. So for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and get the bilge pump set up and then I'm gonna make a decision on how I wanna mount it. So for the bilge pump, I'm using an 1100 gallon bilge pump. Some people might think that's overkill, but honestly, when you need a bilge pump, you're never gonna want less than the biggest you can get. The only downside to using a bigger bilge pump like this is that it uses a one and an eighth uh, size outlet on, on the hose, and those are a little bit more difficult to find. I went to the hardware store, and I was able to find this uh, universal corrugated drain hose. I wanted to get black to match the boat, obviously, and it does fit one and an eighth inch um, outlets. So my idea is that I'm gonna cut this down to what I need, size it out on the boat, get this installed, then we'll figure out how to mount the base plate to the boat. All right, so now we'll see how that fits. Okay, perfect. Well, now that that's on there, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it so the hose can exit the boat. Um, what I'm probably gonna do is mount this sideways and then have the bilge hose come up and over the side. So I'm not gonna cut any of the hose off yet. First, I wanna get this all completed. With the rubber attachment in place, I'm also gonna put a hose clamp on there just to make sure this doesn't have any chance of sliding off. So now let's go ahead and position this in the boat and see where we're gonna place it. Okay, for mounting, I think I'm gonna go right here next to my drain plug area. This is where all the water tends to pool since that's where the drain plug is. I'm gonna have it out of the way, obviously, so I can actually access the drain plug, but it's gonna be right next to the accessory battery, so that's gonna make wiring really easy. And it's also gonna be able to route the hose off the back of the transom. Whether we do silicone or Velcro, I'm going to clean the area under the bilge pump with some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. That will prep the area to make sure that whatever we apply is going to get great adhesion. Okay, so for this area, I think I am going to install this with Velcro. I think that Velcro is going to be the best option for being able to quickly adjust this if I need to. For example, working on the wiring, or if I just decide to rearrange this back area a little bit, I'll have that freedom without needing to remove the silicone. If you're going to be mounting your bilge in an area that you know for 100% sure is not going to have to come up, a dab of silicone will keep it on there and you'll be good to go in that way too. Okay, now as I said, I'm using a high strength waterproof velcro i have a link in the description if you guys want to find this exact model it works really really well i think it's also used for like hanging guarding equipment and stuff like that so i mean this is really really strong stuff um, as i've said i've prepped the bottom with rubbing alcohol i have done the same to the bottom of the uh the catch tray here so all i'm gonna do is peel off one side of the velcro let's peel this off here this is gonna get stuck to the bottom of the catch tray. I'm just gonna do it right in the center. I'll give this a second to just rub down. Peel the film off the bottom of the second piece of Velcro, and then I'm gonna press this in place, and then I'm gonna press down, and I'm gonna hold it for a few seconds. Now, if you only position this lightly, you will have a chance to move it around if you need to. But once you press down, this adhesive is extremely strong and you don't want to keep pulling it up because it's probably going to pull your paint up. 
So at that point, this bilge is definitely installed on here. It is not gonna come off. I can't even pull it. Like straight up, I can't even pull it. You'd have to like rock it to the side and like break the Velcro seal to actually pull this out of the boat. So I'm gonna go ahead and route my hose. Um, what I can do is probably run a zip tie on the hose over here to keep this in place. Go ahead and snip off the zip tie end. Another cool tool, if you guys are ever working with zip ties, these side cutters make a nice flush cut. So when you're cutting off the ends of the zip ties, it doesn't leave like that spike, uh, like when you're using just a pair of uh, regular plier snips. Something I may add in the future is a half moon shaped clamp to kind of clamp this down to the transom. But for now, I'm not interested in adding any additional holes to the transom. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this hose off and then see how this looks. Okay, so I left a little extra hose just in case I feel like adjusting this at all, but this is all looking really good. All right, now that this is mounted in place, let's go ahead and get this wired up. Uh, if you're using a bilge pump with a float switch, you're gonna have two different power wires and one ground. You have one power wire that connects to a switch. This is gonna run up to the front of the boat and attach to my switch panel so I can manually turn the bilge on if I want to. This is going to be the float switch. So this only activates if the float switch on the actual unit uh, is elevated from water. And then of course we have our ground. Now, one thing I've done since this was previously installed was I added some ring connectors to the ends of the wires here. That's just gonna make installation onto the battery that much easier. So an easy way to test to see if you have the right wires is that you can just touch the negative wire and positive wire. And if you hear your bilge pump going, you know you have your switch wires. Now, if you use the other lead and it doesn't activate, that means you're using your float switch wires. Now, you can also test your float switch by removing your bilge pump. The pump is easily removable now that the base plate is mounted. And if you turn it upside down so your float switch is depressed, you can now try those same wires. And if it activates, your float switch is working. All right, so now we can just put this back into its base plate. I'm gonna go ahead and install these ring connectors. Okay, so at this point, the float switch wires have been installed. And now this I'm leaving off for now because I need to get this installed to the switch panel, but the switch panel is not set up yet. But again, we can test it. That works. So our bilge pump is now installed. All right, now that the wiring is all cleaned up down there, our bilge pump is fully installed. Once I'm able to install this back deck, I'll be able to clean up how this hose gets routed. As I said, I'm probably going to be doing some type of hose clamp um, around the area here to route this how I want. But otherwise, this is looking really good. All right, well, if you guys found this helpful, don't forget to let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to follow along with the John Boat build and see what I got going on here, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about how I installed this or any of the products I used, check the description and feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.